the evolutionary history of insects justifies their existence for millions of years they originated about 350 million years ago and the passage of time has in no way diminished the wonders of insect life forests are the main centers of insect biodiversity because of the variety of microhabitats and plant species insect diversity is the most varied and abundant of all the organisms on this planet and plays an important role in all the terrestrial ecosystems the insects are known to be the most successful and diverse animals on earth external body armor capability of flight their small size remarkable fertility and reproductive ability are some of the features which led to their success in nature have we ever thought what can happen if insects are suddenly removed from a habitat or natural community according to various scientific studies some of the important outcomes would be that most broadleaf trees and shrubs would not be pollinated and there would be no fruits and seeds for their own regeneration and for the survival of mankind insects both in their larval and adult forms are very important component of food chain many species of fish birds and even some mammals who feed their young ones or themselves on insect protein would cease to exist in the absence of insects insects and related anthropods in fact are little credited for their beneficial environmental services and overblamed for their destructive activities in fact insects are the little things that run the world as viewed by e o wilson a renowned ecologist according to wcmc there are about 1003 insect species which are under threat all over the world and india shares 27 species belonging to the order lepidoptera odonata and anoplura some insects are very interesting and economically important too beetles belong to the biggest order coleoptera which has important role in the ecosystem buprested beetles commonly called jewel beetle or metallic wood boring beetles they are wood borers belonging to family bupresidae they have glossy iridescent colored hard four wings called elytra cerambycids are among the most serious wood boring pests scarabid beetles or dung beetles are an important group of insects associated with the decomposition of animal excreta or dung dung beetles loosen and fertilize the soil by digging burrows and filling them with dung ladybird are mainly predatory in nature and feed upon the phytophagous insects of agricultural horticultural and forestry species like cockades mealybugs white flies thrips aphids and mites some are fungus feeding beetles curculinid beetles have long snout for feeding on softer inner tissues of the plant bees wasps and ants are in the order hymenoptera with over 130000 named species they are the second largest order the hymenoptera are exceedingly important group of insects from the survival of mankind point of view for three main reasons they include the bees that produce honey and wax group parasitica includes natural enemies of various insects therefore a very important group of natural parasitoids for biological control resource most importantly many hymenopterans are pollinators of most of our crop plants services provided by these pollinators amount to billions of rupees every year it is humbling to realize that if all the hymenopterans were to suddenly disappear from this earth 
among the numerous changes would be the collapse of human society. In the order Lepidoptera, butterflies comprise only 5% and are indicators of thriving ecosystem. An abundance of butterflies is often an indication that an ecosystem is healthy. Moths represent 95% of the order and are nocturnal insects. They are usually dull in color and nocturnal in habit. Lacewings, ant lions, belong to the order Neuroptera and are predators. Bugs belong to the order Hemiptera. They are sap suckers and weaken the plants. Grasshoppers and crickets belong to order Orthoptera. They are fetophagous insects. Praying mantids come under the order Mentodia. They are predators and help in controlling populations of other insects. Dragonflies belong to the order Odonata. Their larvae are aquatic and adults are terrestrial. They are predators of flying insects like flies and mosquitoes. Forest Entomology Division started work on entomological issues of the forests with the establishment of the Forest Research Institute in 1906 and made highly significant contributions in the field of forest entomology. Today, whatever information is known about forest insects in the country is mostly from this division of Forest Research Institute. Some main objectives are insect diversity and its conservation, forest insect pest management, insect ecology, behavior and economics. The division is proud of having been nourished and headed by eminent entomologists of the country, Dr. E. P. Stebbings, A. D. Imms, C. F. C. Beeson, J. C. M. Gardner, M. L. Runewell, R. N. Mathur, and P. K. Sen Sarma, and others. Division has established one of the biggest insect collections of the country. National Forest Insect Collection. It is unique in having 18,500, including 1,850 types forestry related insect species from the Indian subcontinent. NFIC has been digitized, and soon information on species along with its photographs will be available on the internet. Scientists have identified insect pests of almost all the important tree and timber species of the country and developed eco-friendly pest management measures to increase productivity of natural forests and plantations of teak, deodar, cheer pine, shisham, eucalyptus, poplars, etc. Pest management strategies for deodar defoliator, cheer pine borer, Shisham defoliator, etc., have also been developed. Biological control of the noxious defoliators of poplar, Clostera cupriata, and eucalyptus wasp gall have been developed using parasitoid. Eucalyptus gall was controlled in Punjab by the rearing and release of parasitoid Megastigmus vigiani. The most outstanding achievement of forest entomology is the control of Saal heart wood borer Hoplocerembix spinocornis by tree trap method. Aerial insecticide spraying operations were conducted for the first time in the country against pests of teak, deodar, poplar and cheer pine. Entomological Museum has been developed and imparts valuable information to general public and researchers on the role of insects in forest ecology and human welfare. Division has contributed enormously in the field of taxonomy, especially of beetles, termites, parasitic hymenoptera, etc. Thousands of new species have been discovered by the scientists of this division and by other experts from different organizations from India and abroad based upon material collected, reared and preserved in this division. We should show the utmost concern 
for conserving insect diversity to enrich the natural resources for human welfare as insects play a vital role in maintaining the quality of life in the biosphere.